I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, more severe weather across much of the U.S. And former President Trump prepares for his arraignment on criminal charges Tuesday in Manhattan. Powerful storms and tornadoes ripped through several states this weekend, killing at least 26. We'll have the latest. And as the former president prepares to be formally charged in a New York case involving hush money payments to a porn star, his political allies and his Republican presidential rivals are publicly standing by him and focusing on Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. They're trying to do all these legal gymnastics to try to act like it's a felony. This guy is doing politics. He has an agenda. That is not the rule of law. The indictment and facts of the case are still under seal, but we'll talk with the former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York and Bragg's former boss, Preet Bharara. Plus, Robert Costa talks to a key witness in the case, Mr. Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen. This is really about accountability. I went to prison in part for, a, for another man's dirty deeds. And of course, the politics of the case. Will the indictment hurt the former president's chances at winning the Republican nomination or help? I think the magic of 2016 has passed. But so far, two key campaign components, fundraising and poll numbers among Republicans are both up. Former Trump national security advisor and potential Republican presidential contender John Bolton will be here. Then. Washington's at an impasse on what, if anything, will work to stop mass shootings, particularly those in schools. We'll talk to Connecticut Democratic Senator Chris Murphy. He's one of many who have not given up. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.